Are you telling me there's a whole hobby in the box? I am. And there are no hidden solar panels, no batteries, no electrical cords? That's right. A whole hobby? I think you must think I'm stupid. Actually, guys, I think you're more of a yo-yo. A yo-yo? Cool! <laughs> so where do we plug it in? <laughs> Yo-yos have been around much longer than even electricity. Trace back to both ancient China and ancient Greece, these habit-forming little spinners have changed little over the centuries. The playing with a yo-yo is still one of the most popular ways to spend hours of pure fun. So, are you ready to yo? Yo, Randall, yo, yo, I was born to spin the disc. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yo, 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 uh huh, uh huh. Randall, yes. yo, well, what? You're embarrassing me. What's wrong? Yeah. <laughs> Every last Saturday of the month, yo-yo lovers gather here at the Up Theater at the Ulusangan Community Center. They're called Team Duncan, and they take our yo-yoing very seriously. I like yo-yo because it's fun, fast, and it's steam. It's good to learn. And I can learn a lot of tricks. That's it. I'm ready to yo. So what's an easy trick to start with? You know the power throw? <laughs> I like power. How do you do it? Okay. Thank you. Make a muscle. Throw the yo-yo down. And bring it back up. Power throw. What are you doing? I'm waiting for it to start. This is not how you start. First, the train through this. A loop. Okay. I can't! Put this back. Okay, now put your meat in. And you hold it like that. And your muscle. Throw it down and turn your wrist. Turn your wrist and pull it up. Fast. One of the most popular tricks into the yo-yo is called walking the dog. And you don't even have to feed it anything. There are other easier tricks you might get started with. For example, this is called a forward pass, where the yo-yo goes down, out, and then comes right back to your hand. Then, if you want to get even trickier, instead of catching it when it comes back, roll your wrist and the yo-yo will flick out into another forward pass. Not bad. Now, you're really looping. But one important skill to master is how to put a yo-yo to sleep. Hey, Randall, my yo-yo wants to go to sleep. Draw the pie, yo-yo, yo Hey! In Randall's mouth. If you snap your elbow down as you release the yo-yo out over your fingers, it should stay spinning at the end of the string. That's called putting it to sleep or spinning. It's a technique that opens up a lot of possibilities for tricks. Andrew and Jonathan are Singapore champion yo-yoers. So, you might not want to try these tricks until you're really ready. Hey Randall, watch this! See what I mean? Only try them when you're ready. Yo yo! <laughs> yo yo! There's a lot more to yo yos than just going up and down. With freehand tricks, you don't even attach the yo yo string to the finger. And there's another category called off string tricks, where the yo yo isn't even attached to the string. Randall! I think my yo-yo broken. Why am I not surprised? Can we pick another one? Mm, okay, sure. <gasps> Where? Finding the right yo-yo for you depends on your skill level, your taste, and how much you want to spend. There is no best yo-yo. Just try the yo-yo for yourself and see if it works for you. <laughs> but be sure to try it in an uncrowded place. <sighs> Sorry, Randall. The string should be able to reach from the area between your belt and navel down to the yo-yo resting on the floor. Hey, my string! <laughs> and remember to put spare strings. So, Gus, 
What do you think of old-fashioned hobbies? Well, I'm starting to come around to the idea. Come around, get it? <laughs> <laughs>